Kyrie Ignacio Valdezel was born on September 21, 2005 in Lime, Baton. His father, Dex Valdezel, who was an amateur pro player at the time, but when Kyrie was born, he was forced to give up his dream of becoming a pro player. He then became an overseas Filipino worker, first starting in Russia and is currently working in Kuwait. Kyrie's father knew that his son had the potential in gaming and so wholeheartedly supported his son's dream of becoming a pro player. Kyrie's father also said how smart Kyrie was, especially in mathematics, often getting into math competitions at school. He began playing Dota 2 when he was grade 6 and shifted to Mobile Legends after seeing some of his classmates play the game. He would often bond with him playing some online games together, especially mobile type of games at the local internet cafe. His first IGN was called Full Clip, a reference to a GTA hack because he can't think of any other name. His key to success was mastering every role in the game so that he could adjust according to the team composition and potentially become scouted by an eSport team in the future. He cited Bertowski and Gozo General as his greatest influences and constantly watched their videos to learn new tricks from them and would apply them in his matches. While his dad was proud of him, his mother was totally the opposite. And it went even worse when Kyrie used a fake messaging app to fabricate his mother's permission to participate in a third party tournament with his friend in Mania. When his parents found it out from relatives, she threatened the organizers to call the cops if she didn't bring him back home. I also have to add that he didn't have his own phone for some time. He played ML with his grandmother's iPad. But that didn't stop Kyrie to get better every minute he was playing. Kyrie would eventually be signed by Blacklist International, a major eSport organizer in the Philippines, and coach Christopher Bonchan, Rika Plaza, saw potential in Kyrie. And now one of the biggest important day of Kyrie's career. The approval of his mom. Even though she didn't like gaming, she got convinced by the Blacklist team. He got a salary, it's a real professional organization to take care of him, and what is important too is that her son is happy. And then it happened. Blacklist officially signed him on July 3rd, 2020 as their new starting rookie jungler, playing alongside Edward J. Dapadap, a close friend of Kyrie, and veterans Mark Exxon, Gerardo, and Dexter Luis Alaba. The first tournament Kyrie participated with Blacklist International was MPL Philippines Season 6. His popularity rose after Blacklist managed to defeat next play Predator in a score of 2-0. NXP, who were a massive favorite in the tournament, were expected to take the series, but Kyrie proved them wrong. Despite his age, many nicknamed Kyrie the future for his fast mechanics and plays. Notably, hero picks from Kyrie were Lancelot when used properly. You know, the guy with unlimited dashes? However, Blacklist would not advance further in the competition after losing 2-3 to Smart Omega in the quarterfinals. After season 6 ended, he joined a new team, Onyx PH, and also changed his name. Hate also joined Onyx later on. He was Kyrie's idol and now they play together. But there wasn't time to daydream, because MPLI was announced. Kyrie initially wanting to start as a starting jungler, was forced to move to the mid lane due to his teammates hate minimal hero pool. A problem Kyrie doesn't have. Regardless, Kyrie's opening game with his new team showed promises as they were able to win against their mother organization on an eSport, but lose to Auro PH. Season 7 was bad for Kyrie, almost getting eliminated in the group stage and qualifying for the lower bracket just to lose their first match against Execration. Kyrie would remain with Onyx Philippines for season 8 and has made a name for himself as one of the best upcoming junglers in the league. In season 8, Kyrie would return as a starting jungler for Onyx Philippines and some roster changes were made like Hate not being a sub for Goat Lane. And it really paid off. They dominated Next Play, Evos and Omega Esport both with a brutal 3-0, finishing second and qualifying for M3. He also got the MVP award in the week 1. And it was time for M3 in Singapore. His first M World with an OK 800,000 US dollar price pool. Onyx PH were in Group B against Onyx Esport, Todak, and Keith Stars. While Onyx Esport failed, Onyx PH made it to the playoffs. Kairi was hyped and they murdered all their competition in a 3 0. They qualified for the Grand Finals for the first time in the organizer's history and Kairi's first of two Grand Finals in the tournament. And it was Onyx PH against Blacklist International. And how did it go? Well, despite their best efforts, they play second, which is good, but still not first. Getting defeated this easy broke Kyrie. MPL Season 9 wasn't better. 
losing to RSG, Philippines and Omega Esport in a 3-0. To put salt into the wound, there was also a rumor that Onyx PH will disband. In May 2nd, BMO left the team and later revealed that the team still hadn't received their share of the M3 prize pool, which was 120,000 US dollar. After MSC 2022, Onyx will begin releasing their roster members, starting with Microfobio. On July 4, 2022, it was formally confirmed through a press conference that head coach Dan Yep, Miranda and Kyrie is transferring to Indonesia to the organizer's mother team, Onyx Esports. Kyrie would eventually left on June 26. This marked the first time a Filipino player would play for an Indonesian team. Reactions to Kyrie's move to Indonesia was somewhat positive in his home country, and many were confident that Kyrie would again defeat Albert for the second time. And oh boy, did it work. Winning MPL Indonesia Season 10 and won eSport MPI 2022, qualifying for M4, his second M World run. But sadly, it didn't go as well as in his first run. They qualified in the group stage and won against Falcon eSport, but lost to Team Echo in the upper bracket. In the lower bracket, they played against the North American team, Team Valley, which they won but lost against their co-Indonesian team. But both Indonesian teams losing against Echo, the winning of the tournament. I don't really know what happened afterwards, but Arne Esports started cooking their competition, winning four major tournaments in a row. MPL Indonesian Season 11, Arne cooked Evo's glory in a 4-0, they won MCL 2023 against Blacklist International, Snapdragon Pro Series Season 3 SEA, cooked Bigatron Alpha 4-0 again, MPL Indonesian Season 12, beat Geek Fan and qualified for M5. It also broke a record MPL 12 achieved over 100 million watch hours with a peak of 2.1 million viewers. That's insane. They somewhat competed against League of Legends M World, which had over 146 million watch hours. With a big hype for M5, starting from November to December 2023, people fought for their lives and a nice Christmas present. Only eSport was in the group stage A, alongside CEO Soon, Triple eSport and Bigatron Sons, and they dominated all of them. Advanced to the knockout stage, where Kyrie played against his first eSport team that made it possible for him to play full-time professionally, Blacklist International. And it was intense. The first match went 30 minutes long. Blacklist took the win, Onyx fought back and won two matches in a row. But Blacklist wasn't done yet. And they took the next match. For the last match, Onyx destroyed Blacklist and sent them to the lower bracket. They made quick work of Deuce Vault and AP Brand, which was very surprising, which qualified them for the finals, the first M-Series Grand Final to have an Indonesian team since M1. Besides the spectacular rise from Onyx Esport, AP Brand also fought back, eliminating Blacklist International 3-0. And it was on, a rematch that could turn into a revenge arc for AP Brand or a straight up beatdown again for Onyx Esport. It was a very intense series of matches a back and forth for both teams, until the last deciding match, where during the final moment of Game 7, Kyrie on Baxia checked on the middle bush where he got killed after three AP brand members were waiting for him. And that wasn't the time Onyx slowly started to crumble, it was where they got destroyed. This ultimately sealed Onyx's chances of the M5 title. The same happens at the Game of Future 2024 tournament, where they lost in the final against AP Brand again. Right before MPL Season 13, there was a big change up for the ML teams. Big eSport orgs joined Mobile Legends and teams like Cloud9, Team Liquid and many more joined. Ornick teamed up with Fnatic. This was the new era of ML eSport. The merge was successful in the beginning, winning MPL Indonesia Season 13 and qualifying for MSC 2024. But then it started to crumble. They started in Group B, which was considered one of the hardest group, but what happened, people causes the biggest upset this year. Fnatic Onyx is out. Eliminated in the group stage, as well with Team Falcom. See you soon, a team that haven't won any MSC, M World, or in general a higher tournament than B tier, and this underdog winner of MSC tournament, RSG. Eliminated Onyx and Kairi in the beginning of the tournament, and people were shocked. It looks like Onyx is falling behind more and more because they also lost in the Snapdragon Pro Series Season 5 APEC. 
people blaming the team getting carried by Kyrie alone, renaming Onyx Esport to Kyrie Esport, and some other dramas like the dating rumor or for me the weird Karina Espa situation. 2024 was and still is rough for Kyrie and his team. But that's the perfect beginning for his redemption arc. What I didn't mention this whole time is that Kyrie and Flepsy enter the Hall of Legends. M6 is on its way and it's a perfect chance to beat Falcon AP Bren. The only team that won a M World Series, Fnatic Onyx didn't beat yet. He won one MPL Invitations, MSC, Snapdragon Pro Series and MPL Indonesia Season 10, 11, 12 and 13 and an estimated 207,000 US dollar total earnings and he is not done. I will keep on cheering Kyrie to win his first M World. And what do you think of Kyrie? That's it and I will see you in my next video.